What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to take some raw data in Excel that looks like this and build this Excel dashboard from scratch. By the way, this is an automated Excel dashboard. So at the end of the video, when we do create a dashboard, we are going to insert some new raw data into our dashboard and see how we can refresh this dashboard with the click of a button. And before we jump into this video, let me just say that if you're passionate about data analytics and data science, then please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, starting with the raw data, by the way, you can download this file from my GitHub repo. I'm gonna have the link in the video description. The first thing I'm gonna do is to actually create the main dashboard page. So here I'm gonna name this dashboard. I'm also going to hide the new raw data because we don't need it for now. I'm going to test it at the end. I want to go on and click into view and remove all the grid lines. I want to create the title, which is going to be, uh, let's say, how big? One, two, three, this big. I want to change the background color. So I'm going to use this light gray. I want to merge this and I want to add the title, which is going to be movie dashboard summary. I want to align it in the middle. I want to make it bold. I want to increase the size. And then I also want to increase this size. So let's make it a bit bigger. Here I think. And let's zoom in so you can see better too. So I think here is fine. Next I want to add two pictures on the left hand side and on the right hand side so it looks prettier. So I've downloaded two pictures from uh, a website online. The website is called, where is it? Uh, Clean PNG. You can actually copy this and you can search for pictures here. And um, those two pictures are these two. I'm gonna insert them. So I'm gonna use the first one on the top left. Oops, not this one, this one. Come there and then the second one on the top right. Let's put this over here, so it looks nice. Right, the next thing we have is the slices, but in order to add the slices, we need to create the pivot table first. I always start with slices at the top, so people know how they can slice and dice their data. Right, going back to our main raw data now, we want to select all the columns because later on, when we add new data, this new data is going to be under here. So in order to be able to automate this dashboard and click refresh, you need to select all the columns when creating pivot tables. We go into insert, we click on pivot table, and then we're gonna add it on a new worksheet. This worksheet is going to be named as pivot tables because all of our pivot tables are going to be here. And the first graph I want to create, I, I always try to show the trend. So now because we have monthly data, we want to show the monthly trend of our raw data. By the way, we haven't explained our raw data very quickly. This is the raw data. We have movies, the distributor, the genre of the movie, then we have some monthly data, so how much revenue they've generated. Then we have the totals, then we have the average for the month, the mean, the max, the month over month, and also if it's above or below average. Right, going back to pivot tables now, the first thing we want to see is the trend. As we said, I'm going to put it here so you can see. So I want to add July, August. I want to make sure that values are on rows. So we have it this way. And then we want to add September, October, November, December, and January. So now we can start creating our trends. And in order to create the first line graph, we can click into insert, and then we can click over here and then select the first line graph, which is this one over here. However, before we add our line graph in the main dashboard, we need to add our slices, as we said. And now, because we have a pivot table, we can actually go to insert and then click on 
slicer and then we want to be able to slice by distributor, genre and also above or below average. So we have our three slicers. Next, we need to make some space for these three slicers in the main dashboard. And then over here, 10 and 11, I'm going to create our first summary. So I'm going to leave this space for the slicers. Uh, so I'm going to click over here, change the color to this light gray and also merge it and also name it as total revenue summary. Click enter, make this bold, align it at the middle and then increase the size of it. Here is where I'm going to put our slicers. So I go back to the pivot table. I select all of them with control. I click control X. So I cut and then I paste here at the top. And then I'm going to start with the distributor. Then we have the genre and then we're going to have the above or below average. First thing we're going to do is to change the color of these three. So if we select them again, go into slicer we can select this light gray so it matches with the rest of the dashboard then we can click on this one right click size and sorry slicer settings no it's the other one size and properties we can increase the number of columns so we want to put four columns and then we want to increase the size so somewhere here and then for this one, we want to have two columns. And then for this one, we want to have two columns. Next, for the movie slicer, because we have a lot of movies, it's difficult to add the same kind of slicer. So just to show you, if we go back into pivots, and then if we go into insert, and then if we add a slicer and we add the movie, because we have a lot of movies, it's difficult to put them all there. So a quick hack around this is to create another pivot table. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to paste it over here. So every time I create a new pivot table, it's going to be on the right hand side of the previous one. And then I am going to remove these fields. So I do not want all these sums. I only want to have movies in filters. There we go. So if I put it here. Now I can copy this and I can paste it into our dashboard over. So this is going to be, let's say the title and this is going to be our filter. Then we want to add the title here, which is going to be the movie filter. Then I want to merge these two. So merge, I want to add this line. So the dotted line around it. So it's going to be this square. Then I also want to change this color to the light gray. And then I'm going to leave this as is, and I'm going to change the background of these two to be white. So now people can click here and then search for their movie and select for their movie. So it's like a drop down versus having these slices over here. And over here, we can actually say uh, select movie. So select movie. So we can guide people how to use this. Again, we need to put it white and we need to make it smaller and maybe make it italic. So they can select their movies. Also, we want to add the borders. There we go. Next, we want to use all the space with our slices now. So we're going to make this slicer a bit bigger and we want to resize all the slices. So they take about all the space. So we don't have any misallocation of space. Additionally, we want to make sure that we align them with the movie filter. So you can see the top should be there like this, then we can put this one on the top and then we can put this one on the top and then we can use all the space and then we can make this line smaller so we have the same distance between these two. So I can make it like this and then I can also reduce this size and then I have to make this a bit smaller. Uh, they are almost the same size and now I can make this also a bit smaller. Yep, so now everything is pretty much equally distanced from each other. If you want to be super accurate on the sizes, you can also right click on the slicers, click on size and properties and you can change the bottom height to be exactly the same on all of them. Or you can click control, select all of them and then change it for all three at the same time. Right, moving on, the next thing we want to do is to add our main graph, which is this one over here, which we created before. 
I'm going to hide the main raw data for now because we don't need it. And then I'm going to cut this and then paste it at the top. So over here, uh, and then I want to take about this much space maybe. Let me see, uh, I and J, so it's going to take all of this space. Then we want to right click over here or down here and then hide all fill buttons so we don't see any of that. Then we want to delete this total over here. We want to change the title to total revenue by month. Then we want to change the color of the title to this blue over here, the dark blue. Then we want to change this outline to the same dark blue. We want to reduce the weight. So maybe, let me see, maybe which one? This one. Then we want to change it into these dotted lines. Then we also want to right click here, click on format data series, and then go over here into the marker. So that's going to be marker options, building, then maybe this one, then maybe increase the size and then change the color to this uh, purple over here. Next, maybe I'm going to decrease this size actually. So the way I'm going to leave it to one, I'm also going to right click here and add the data labels for all of them. I want to make these data labels to be dollars. So I need to go back in the pivot, edit the pivot here and change this to be these dollars, remove the two decimals, go back at the front, now they are dollars. Next, I want to change the orientation maybe. So if I go into text options over here, we can change the angle to be 30%, so maybe minus 30%, like this. We can also make them smaller. We can also change the color of them, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to do is to right click and change the fill. I'm going to use the same fill as these two. So this light gray we always use. Right, moving on, we also want to show the total revenue by distributor and by genre. By the way, I need to change the title of this. If I right click here, go into slice properties, and then if I change this into genre actually you need to put one and then delete the one because if it's capitals and you make them as lowercase exactly the same it's not going to change uh, i don't know why so i need to do this uh, and then delete this and then this is going to be k so i need to go back in my pivot tables now i need to copy the pivot table i need to paste it on the right hand side i need to click on the pivot table uh, close this and then I need to add the totals and then I need to add the distributor. I want to remove the slicer because I don't need it. Now I want to move this at the top and then I need to insert and then recommend the charts. Here I can select the graph I want. I want this uh, horizontal bar graph. I'm going to select this one and then I also need to hide these buttons. So right click hide all fill buttons and then I also want to order this so sort and filter smallest to largest so this actually puts the highest at the top in the visual I want to copy this visual uh, sorry I want to cut it and then I want to bring it forward so I'm going to take this space over here I need to leave some space for the other one and then uh, somewhere over here let's say I want to change the title to be the total revenue by distributor I want to change the color into this color I want to move it at the top I want to increase this size I want to delete this total I want to increase this one as well I want to delete this scale because I'm actually going to add the data levels so I can right click I can okay wait so I select this uh, add data levels now we have the data levels now I need to go back and add the dollar sign so I can select this, click over here. So it's the same process as before. I remove the decimals, I go back, now it's dollars. I need to make them a bit smaller, so like this. Uh, I need to change the fill to be the same as this one. And now we have the total revenue by distributor. Now I need to repeat the same process, but by genre.
So we go back into our pivot tables, we copy this pivot table, we paste it over here, and then we switch distributor with genre. Then we want to click here, click into insert, recommend the charts, again, the same graph, click OK. I want to order it, so the same as we've done it before. Uh, so we have the highest at the top. I want to cut this and I want to bring it over here. I want to use all this space, so I'm going to put it uh, here. I want to delete the totals, I want to delete the scale, I want to remove these ones, so exactly the same steps. I want to push this title at the top. Then we need to add the data labels and change the background color. Sometimes we can use the format painter, but sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why in Excel, so we can actually select this visual, click on format painter. This should copy all the coloring and the formats. And then if we click on this visual, it should have adjusted the same colors and the same formats. However, it doesn't do it. I don't know why. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to click back and I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to change this color to be this dark blue. Actually, I'm going to change this one too. We haven't changed it. So I'm going to set it to dark blue. Then I need to right click here and add the data labels. Same as before. Then I need to change our title to be the total uh, revenue by genre. Then I need to change the, the title color to be the same as this one. And at the end, oh, why did this move? Do it here and at the end I want to change the background color with the same background color as before. Next we need to add some big cards with all the main numbers that we have in our data set so the aggregates. So if I show you the finished dashboard you can see we show the total revenue, the month over month, the average revenue per month, the average revenue per movie and also the number of movies. These cards are very important for the business because they do want to see the big aggregates, not just the breakdowns. So we're going to go back into our pivot tables and we're going to start with the total revenue. So I'm going to copy this pivot table. I'm going to paste it over here and then I'm going to just remove the genre from here. And this should give me a total revenue because this is a sum of totals. If I go back here, I can name this as, actually I need to merge this. I can name it as total revenue. Then I need to make this uh, italic. I need to add the borders. So if I add the all borders and then over here, I can say equals and then I can select this number. Click enter. Also, I want to make this number as a value um, with the dollar sign. I want to remove these two. And then I want to merge all of these cells. Uh, I want to add it in the middle. So now we have the total revenue. I'm actually going to move this a bit on the right. Not this one. This one, like this. So we have equally distance between the visuals. So I need to make this smaller. Next, I'm going to copy this. I actually need to change the background. So I'm going to add the light gray like this and then I'm going to copy it, paste it over here, over here and then over here. One, two, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So we need one more. Copy this, paste it over here. Right, the next one is going to be the month over month. So if we go back into the pivot tables, we can copy, we can paste, we can change the sum of values with the month over month, but we actually need to use the average. So let's do average, we need to set it to a percentage, we want to add two decimal places, we want to go back and then here we want to say equals and then select this over here. As you can see, we didn't change the format, so we also need to change the format here. So I set it as a percentage and then I add two decimals. Let's check if these slices work, let me see 22, yeah, they do work, but what they don't do well is that they shrink. And this is because of this pivot table over here. So what we can do is that we can right click, go into pivot table options and remove this auto fit column with width on update. So I'll click OK. Then I fix the size. So I think it was somewhere around here. So I think this is fine. 
then I want to add a conditional formatting on this month over month. I have to change it month over month. I want to say if it's less than zero, so it's a negative percentage, set it to red. And if it's more than zero, then set it to green. So I can click over here, highlight sales rules, greater than, I'm gonna say zero, and I'm gonna set it to green. I'm gonna repeat the same process, but now I'm gonna select less than, I'm gonna put zero and leave it as red. So now you can see because we dropped from last month to this month, we actually have a negative month over month. By the way, regarding the numbers, these numbers are actually wrong, the minus 13%. It's because we fudged the numbers in the previous video just to show some functionality. The previous Excel video, you can go and watch it, is about an Excel test. Uh, so actually, it's not the 13%, it's a lot more, it's more closer to like 45 to 50% drop. Uh, but you can ignore the numbers for now. Right, this one is going to be the average revenue per month. So average revenue per month. Click enter, make it a bit smaller so it fits. So this is 10. We can leave these ones as 11. And then we need to go over here. We need to copy this. We need to paste it. And we need to change the value from average month over month to the average of average which again, it doesn't make sense, but it's actually the correct-ish number. Uh, then we need to change these to values again. So dollars, remove the decimals, go at the top, click equals, sorry, at the front, click equals, then go here, click this value, and there we go. Uh, we actually need to remove this dot 54, so we remove the two decimals. Next, we need to have the average revenue per movie, so average, Revenue per movie. Uh, movie. We need to make this smaller too so it fits. And then we need to create the pivot table. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it over here. I'm going to add the movies and their average value. Sorry, the uh, total value. So I need to add movies. I need to remove this. I need to add the totals, sum of totals. And I'm going to switch this sum into the average. So change this into average. And this is the number. So on average, each movie of these movies, it made uh, 956,000, which is actually very skewed because some of them make a lot of money and some of them make very little money. So it's not a very good indicator. That's why we need the breakdowns. But for now, we're going to add it in. If we go back here, we can click equals. Then go to pivot tables, click this one, enter. So now we have the average per movie. The last one we have is the number of movies. So number of uh, movies, click enter, go back into pivot tables, copy this one, paste it, and then change the value to be the count of movies. That will go 16, this is actually general. So it's a number, it's not a value. It's not like a dollar value, then we click equals, go back, enter, remove the two decimals, actually make this general, so it's in the middle. The last thing we want to do is to change the colors, so I'm going to set this to dark green, and bold, increase the size to 14, remove the two decimals, and I'm going to click format, do the same with this one. Format Painter, do the same with this one, and then this one I'm going to leave manually because I don't want to change it into a dollar value. Next, we want to make this a bit smaller. So again, we try to equally distance all the visuals with themselves. So this one, again, a bit smaller. Let me scroll all the way here. Maybe here, then this line, same, make it a bit smaller, smaller. Then we have this line, we need to make it a bit smaller. And then we have this line, we need to make it a bit smaller. Now I want actually more and be more here. Then we want to increase the size to be up until down here where the 16 is. And the same with this one over here. Now I want to go back and test my slicers. So if I click here, you can see it works. Paramount Pictures, two movies, uh, we have two genres, then 
Sony, we have three movies, then this one, we have three movies, one movie, Warner Bros, three movies, and they are up, you can see, this is why I'm saying it's the wrong numbers, we fudged the numbers in the previous video, but you can ignore this for now. And the next thing is that I'm going to stop this video here and finish the rest of the video in the next video, just because I'm trying to keep the videos short. So check the video description and you're going to get the link to the second video. And um, if you feel that you've gained enough value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video to finish this dashboard.